morning guys what's going on welcome back to the cabin it's a beautiful beautiful fall day oh man it's uh, just afternoon and uh temperature sitting at about 60 degrees it's almost kind of hot standing here in the sun Whew. yes and uh i do have my hunter orange on it is hunting season here and i'd rather be hunting but uh before i can do that i do have to bush hog the road it is the last thing that I have to do on that road before winter. Um, just want to keep the uh, keep the brush and stuff back as much as I can. So uh, I'm going to do that, and then uh, we are going to have a real treat tonight. We are going to have mm, moose steak for supper. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, I did not get my uh, moose permit this year, and for those of you that. I uh, don't know how it works here. You, it's a lottery system, so you have to uh, um, put in for the draw. And I think there's only about uh, 3,000 licenses given out this year. Um, I was not lucky enough. I have had mine several times, though, so I am luckier than most. But a good friend of mine, Joe, thank you, Joe, uh, he got his moose this year. And uh, he was nice enough to give me a steak, and he gave me a little burger, so I appreciate that. Uh, that's huge. Um, so big, uh, a big thank you again to Joe. Appreciate that, my friend. Uh, so yeah, so that's supper tonight, and uh, yeah, let's get this, uh, let's get this road bush hogged and uh, get it done. This is my bush hog. No fancy new equipment on my channel. As a matter of fact. Uh, this bush hog was a rescue. Um, I don't know if I've showed this before or not. I think I did maybe a, two years ago. Anyways, uh, I'll just show you again. I'll tell you the story real quick. So this bush hog here, um, I rescued this about 10 years ago out of a farmer's field. The only thing that was left of it was the gearbox, the blades, and a little bit of the uh, uh, steel here. And that's, uh, that's about all that was left of it. And you can see where it was, right here, where it was uh, all rusted and, and rotted off. There was nothing else to this bush hog. Um, yeah, it was in bad shape. It was just a rusted hulk. There was nothing left of it. And uh, the guy said I could have it. He didn't want anything for it. As long as I took it out of there, I could have it. So I, I checked the gearbox and uh, the gears were in good shape. As a matter of fact, it was still full of oil and there was no signs of any, any uh, water or anything like that. So the gears were good and that was a good sign. The blades are okay. And uh, so as long as that part was good and I had a little bit to work with, I figured I could fix this up. So I, uh, I built a whole new frame for it. This frame, I built this whole thing, welded it all up, gave it a paint job and changed the oil in the gearbox, of course. And uh, there you go, I got a bush hog. Now it's not fancy, I know. Uh, and as a matter of fact, it's, uh, you know, I don't even know how old it is, to be honest. Uh, 10 years ago, there was nothing left of it. So I'm gonna say, I'm just guessing that I'm gonna say it's probably from the 60s. I don't think the 70s because it wouldn't have been in that bad a shape. I'm gonna say probably 60s. Um, maybe 50s, but I doubt it. I'm thinking 60s. That's my guess. But, uh, you know, um, the price was right. It was free. And like I said, I didn't really want to spend a lot of money. I don't need a brand new bush hog down here. I don't have fields to take care of or anything like that. All I want to do down here is, is uh, you know, just bush hog the road once a year and clear the brush back. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money to do that. So, uh, really isn't worth it. Um, as a matter of fact, if I had to pay for a bush hog, you know, like a brand new one or something like that, I would probably not have bought one. I probably would have just went up and down the road with the, uh, with the thinning saw. Uh, it takes a lot longer. That's true. But, you know, like I said, I only, I only do it once a year. So this works great. This is the perfect bush hog for down here. And, uh, after 10 years, I've, uh, you know, I've got my use out of it and it's still working great. I mean, I, I don't see any reason why it won't continue to work. It'll probably outlast me. So.
Well, that's mission accomplished, guys. Looks good. Glad to have that done. No more road work this year. Yes, I am glad to have that finished. No more road work this year. And I've been thinking about that moose steak all day long. And it's actually turned out to be a beautiful day. You know, for me, I'd much rather take an old piece of equipment like that bush hog and rebuild it and make it new again and make it workable than go buy a brand new piece of equipment. I mean, to me, I just get a lot more, you know, I get a lot more satisfaction out of doing that because I take things that are just, you know, what other people say are junk and they just don't want to put the time into it or whatever. And, uh, you know, if it has potential, I like to make it new again. So I'm not one of those channels that uh, you're going to see brand new equipment every video. Nope. I mean, no stuff. I mean, that stuff makes for better videos. I mean, they obviously get the, uh, the views. But uh, I'd rather just keep using what I have. Oh, mm. wow, that is mouth-watering delicious. Mm -mm. Thank you again. Oh, smells so good. <laughs> I am going to call that ready. Well, ready or not doesn't matter. I'm eating it anyway. You can see I broke out the fine china. Wow. Mm. Sweet mama, that is so good. <laughs> wow. People ask what uh, moose meat tastes like, and 
You know what, honestly, I, I can't think of anything that it really compares to. Moose tastes like moose, and if you've never had the uh, the opportunity, that's too bad because it is special. I just love moose meat. Uh, if you ever get the opportunity, try it. You're going to love it. You will not regret it. You guys that know, you guys that eat moose meat have eaten moose, moose meat before. You know what I'm talking about. Man, it is some good. Mmm. It don't get better than this. Hmm. You know, I like to say, it ain't all beer and barbecue out here. But sometimes it is. And this is one of those times. And what a perfect evening. Ugh. Well, the sun's going down. Another day comes to an end here at the cabin. But what a great day it was. Oh. You just can't beat it here. I just, I love it so much. And this is absolutely my favorite time of the year. I couldn't be happier. And not a black fly in sight. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Uh, if you're new, subscribe. Hit the little bell icon if you want to be notified of new videos. Smash the thumbs up if you want. I appreciate the support. Uh, leave me some comments below. Definitely, I love those comments, guys. Keep them coming. And uh, you guys take care, and we'll see you soon back here at the cabin.